Hello friends, welcome to your Sanem. Today our topic is decimal numbers. After giving some brief information about it, we are going to solve some exam questions together. Let's start then. So, do you know how to convert a decimal number into a fraction? Let's start with some easy examples and then gradually work our way towards harder ones. So, for example, 0 0.6. I am sure you all know that it equals to 6 over 10, but how? Let's look at how is that equals. So I am writing this over 1. Now we need to get rid of the decimal number, so we need to multiply 0 0.6 by 10, and whatever you do the top of a fraction, you must also do the bottom. So 10 times 10. 0 0.6 times 10 is 6. And 1 times 10 is 10. So my answer is 6 over 10. By the way, if you want to cancel it, you can do it like dividing by 2. It's going to be 3 over 5. Now we have a fraction. Let's say we have 3 over 2. How to convert it? Follow the same process. So writing 1 over here and multiplying 10 over 10. 3.2 times 10 is 32. 1 times 10 is 10. So my fraction is 32 over 10, by the way, it, it also equals to 16 over 5. Let's try another one. We have 0 0.24. It also, same process, but we need to multiply the top and the bottom by 100 because there is two digits after the point. So it's going to be 0 0.24 over 1 times 100 over 100. 0 0.24 times 100 is 24. And 1 times 100 is also 100. So if we cancel, it equals to 12 over 50. Or, again, 6 over 25 is my answer. Now, I'm going to show you an easy method to solve complex questions. Let's say we have 0 0.4 over 0 0.16. So, if you look at this fraction, there is one digit after the point and in the denominator there are two digits after the point you can simply add a zero to make them have same digits after the point so it's going to be 0 0.40 over 0 0.16 now we have same digits after the point in the numerator and in the denominator it equals to 40 over 16. Let's divide by 4 and we'll have 5 over 4. Do you know how we did this? Let's explain it. 0 0.40 over 0 0.16. This one is 40 over 100 and this one 60, 16 over 100, right? 40 over 100 times 100 over 16 because this this is a division right when we cancel hundreds we'll have 40 over 16 and this one is this okay let's try another one 3 
point four or zero point seventeen. Let's look at that. There is one digit here and there are two digits here. So I can write a zero in the numerator and in the denominator I have 0 0.17 it equals to 340 over 17 and if we divide by 17 we will have 20 okay now let's look at some exam questions together this one is from 2014 and it says 0 0.5 square plus 1 over 4 divided by 0 0.2 so 0 0.5 square is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 right plus 1 over 4 divided by 0 0.2 is 2 over 10 so this is 5 over 10 times 5 over 10 plus 1 over 4 so there is an addition and also a division division comes for first that's why I'm gonna use this and multiply by 10 over 2 this is 25 over 100 plus 10 over 8 let's divide by 25 and let's divide by 2 so in the first fraction I have 1 over 4 and in the second one I have 5 over 4 so it's 6 over 4 let's look at uh, a b c d and no there is no 6 over 4 that's why I need to cancel it I can cancel it and dividing by 2 right so it is going to be 3 over 2 and my answer is a this is from 2016 and we also need some zeros to make them have same digits after the point so one zero is here and look there's a six i can write it six as six point zero or six point zero zero right so there is point zero here that's why my question becomes zero point seventy over zero point zero seven plus 3.6 over 6.0 plus 3 over 20 this is 70 over 7 and 36 over 60 plus 3 over 20 let's use some cancellation and I'll have 10 plus 6 over 10 plus 3 over 20 so here in order to get same denominators I need to multiply 10 by 2 and 1 by 20 right so 200 plus 12 plus 3 over 20 and this is 250 over 20 if I cancel the right by 2, I'll have 0.7. Okay, and my answer is E. And this one is from 2018. We will be using some zeros here too. Okay, so one zero is here and one zero here. So it becomes 5.70 over 0 0.19 minus 0 0.51 over 
zero point seventeen divided by one point forty over zero point fifty six. So it becomes over nineteen minus fifty one over seventeen divided by one hundred and forty over fifty six. I can cancel by 9 so I'll have 30 here and this one I can cancel by 17 I'll have 3 so 30 minus 3 divided by let's cancel them dividing by 14 I'll have 10 over 4 okay 30 minus 3 is 27 divided by 10 over 4 and 27 times 4 over 10. So let's multiply 4 times 27 and it's 108 over 10 and this is equal to 10.8 and it is my answer this is from 2014 and we need some zeros also here okay so 3 I can write it as 3.0 or 3.00 and it goes on okay so 2.0 here and 1.0 is here okay 3.00 over 3.75 minus 6.25 over 12.50 divided by 1.5 over 0 0.6 so it becomes 300 over 375 minus 625 over 1250 okay divided by 15 over 6 let's use some cancellation here and if we cancel dividing by 75 I'll have 4 over 5 and here I can divide them by 625, right? So 1 over 2 is here. 4 over 5 minus 1 over 2 times 6 over 15, right? So 4 over 5 minus 6 over 30 right because there is a parenthesis here that's why i need to use this first i can cancel it here one over five four over five minus one over five four minus one is three and my answer is three over five and this is b I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching it. To be informed of our next video, please don't forget to follow us on See you soon. Bye.